Hey guys, I'm back here again. Got another quick video here for you. This is a initial examination video for a guy's machine. He brought over here about, uh, I think, I think it's yesterday afternoon. Uh, he was complaining the machine uh, would start up, but the thing kept on you know, uh, running slower and slower until things started dying out for him over here. And he has a relatively uh, newer machine. It's an HRX Honda 217 Honda self-propelled lawnmower. And he was complaining. He, he, he kept on claiming the uh, uh, auto choke might be acting up and stuff like that on the machine. I just want to show you what these auto chokes look like on these uh, newer machines. This one has the uh, auto choke design. This is the uh, newer auto choke design because they have two different types out there. They have the older uh, auto choke design has an obelisk uh, in the actual cylinder block down here. This one has the newer design right here for that. So we'll show you what this thing looks like right here. First thing you got to do is got to remove all the intake stuff like that. Uh, we got the uh, stuff right here in the ground so I can show you, you know, demonstration purposes. You got to take your air box out, obviously. Take your bolts out, take your intake intake gasket out over here as well, too. So you got all the, get, get all the stuff out of the way. There's your air box. There's your intake intake gasket right there. Air filter, air box cover. And you got your bolts right here as well, too. So you got to take all the stuff off. Plus, you've got to take the... Uh, uh, recoil unit off the machine as well too so you can access the um, a whole um, whole top of the engine okay right here as well too so this is what it looks like here after the carbs removed from the unit and the auto choke is taken out of the newer generation auto choke adapter right here for that they have a, a small hole right here see this you have a small hole right here and what goes in that hole, I'll show you that right now. So here's your uh, two pieces, or two main pieces of the auto chug assembly. You have your control uh, mechanism arm right here for that. Here's what it looks like. This thing is held in place by a, a bolt right here for that. This bolt goes in here like so. Get out of the way here. There we go. And the bolt goes in like so, and that's held in position. You have a small bolt hole right. Let me get a better thing here to show you here. There's your bolt hole right down there. There's your bolt hole. And that's where this bolt right here goes right here for that specifically for that. And this thing basically sits inside like so. So you put it basically up against a cylinder block and that thing screws in here. The uh, Allen or I, I, I mean the Phillips, sorry about that. The Phillips goes right down there and that's how it functions inside of the uh, you know, cylinder a hole right there for that. Then behind this piece right here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what's behind here. We'll flip it around here. Here's the back side. Back side has a small plunger mechanism on here for that. So that's the back side that faces the inside or I should be the outside portion of the cylinder block area right here. So that this is your front side where the carb mates up. Carb mates up right on here. So you have your uh, front, let me see, let me get this thing situated here better. Sorry about that. There's your front side. You have your, you have your gasket right here. Gasket mates up against that. So, front, you got your gasket, and then you have your carb. Back side of the carb fits on that one. So, that's how they uh, go up in, in proper alignment right there for that. So, the thing behind this thing, get this thing out of the way here again. I said before, this is the uh, back side. You have your plunger right here in the back. This thing's getting a little worn right there for that. So, uh, typically, we just uh, clean these things up over here and uh, you know blow them off some you know brake cleaner and put some lube on them and put them back together. And they typically function okay if they're uh, you know relatively in good shape. So we'll probably clean that thing up. So here's the back side right here for that. You have this um, uh, plunger unit right here. The uh, uh, I think they call it a heating element or something on the website right there when you're looking at parts. So this is the thing that sits in behind. Here's your plunger element. This thing right here, this piece right here, contacts the back portion of this right here. So you have this piece right here, that piece right there, that contacts this piece right here. So whenever it's, it's sitting in the bore, so this thing sits in the board just like so right here for that. So this goes into the hole right there. So this thing sits directly into that hole right here for that. The uh, plunger is fully extended right now on there for that. So it's what it looks like fully extended. Typically these things go back and they're by themselves because they have a, uh, a piece right here. So we'll show you that right now. We'll take it apart here. See what it looks like inside. So there's what it looks like inside. You have a little sleeve on this piece. It, it, it looks like it's a you know piece of a um, 
steel or aluminum right here for that. It's it's relatively light, so that goes right so. And it's a piece like a copper, a copper color, or like a copper piece right here for that. And what happens is uh, this thing heats up, and uh, this thing, this uh, piece right here heats up right here, and you have this little. Um, a little cold, little, I'll call it a little rod right here. This little rod comes out and pushes against the back of this hole right here for that. So when it pushes against the back of that, this thing goes up here against here again. I'll show you that again here. Put that back in here. So this thing heats up. This rod right here. Let's see, you get a better angle. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, guys. This little rod right here, it comes out and it pushes on this whole unit right here. And this unit right here, this piece right here, pushes against that. So this pushes against that, and it opens up the uh, control arm right here. So this thing opens up like so, goes just like that, and it opens up. And you have the spring mechanism right here. It snaps it back into place when the thing starts getting colder. So this thing has pressure that's being pushed on right here by this piece right here for that when it heats up. So when it, so when the element, so when that element right there heats up. It pushes against the back of this plunger area right here. See this plunger area right here? It's pushing on that. What that does is that engages on here. It opens up all the way, so it goes all the way open like so. And when it cools down, it snaps closed again. And this top piece right here, show you that right there. Top piece right here, this engages against your carb on here for that. And it engages on the top right here. So you have your little uh, black uh, cover right here for that. And this thing opens and closes on here as well too. So we'll demonstrate that right now that I can. I'm going to hold this thing with one hand here. So bear with me here for a couple seconds. So when the engine starts heating up, this thing opens up like so to uh, the full choke off position. I call it right here for that because the choke is in the off position. It's fully open. And when the engine cools down, closes back up. And that's how it functions right there for the your automatic choke. When it's, when it's uh, choke is uh, open all the way, it's like so. This thing has a spring mechanism in here as well too for that function. And like I said before, I'll show you here right here. This rod. There we go. Okay, this piece right here I said before. This piece right here pushes contact against this piece right here, and that pushes the uh, rotating mechanism right here to rotate open like so and it functions as a open and close auto choke system right there for that and everything has to be clean and working correctly in order for the the system to design you know for, for the, the system to function correctly right there for that I should say if something's uh, broke or damaged or out of whack or not aligned correctly uh, this thing may be binding or may not want to function correctly so it's always a good idea to check your choke uh, check the whole choke system first before you go ahead and start replacing parts and uh, do a typical, um, you know, cleaning of the stuff right there and put it back together. Just put some, put, put a little light coating on, stuff like that, and put it back in your function test. If the machine's still not opening up the choke mechanism on there, more than likely this piece right here is uh, not functioning correctly. As I said before, this thing opens and closes on here. Take it apart again here. This uh, heating element right here for that. Uh, this thing right here, this thing fits inside of the actual bore of your hole right for your auto, auto choke mechanism right here for that. So what this thing does, I'll show you here. I'll go ahead and stick it in right now here. Go ahead and put that back together here real quick. Get in, I'm trying to just one hand in here in the grind. So <laughs> blow it off real quick. So you put this thing back inside of your hole right here for the auto choke block. So it's, it's all the way in there now. So that's fully in there. It's all the way in there. And that's how it functions in the auto choke system right there for that. And that I said before this thing butts up against your back portion right here. Here's your back plunger area right here. And that fits against that just like so on there for that. So that how it engages and disengages when an engine heats up and cools down over time right there for that. So if you have any kind of problems, always a good idea to take it apart out here. Make sure it's opening and closing on the heating element first before you go ahead and start replacing parts. Make, make sure there's no there's no binding on this piece right here. This thing is spring uh, spring mechanism. Or, um, it's it's spring actuated right here for that. And if, if you got any kind of crap or debris on this thing, it might start binding up on there for that. 
So always verify this thing's clean and put some lube on there as well too. And always verify the carb doesn't have any kind of binding on here as well too. You, you might got some kind of crap or some kind of crap down. So you, you honestly never know until you actually take it apart and check it out. But uh, this one right here, uh, typically, um, uh, the main problem with this one right here, the carbs uh, got some debris down inside because the guy was claiming he loaned the machine out and uh, one of his friends brought it back and it was not functioning correctly. So we're thinking right now is fuel contamination related issues. So there's a high likelihood because we did drain the carb out. All, we, we drained the carb out here a few minutes ago and we were checking out the uh, the gas and he does have some debris down inside so more than likely the carbs at fault currently right now for that. So we'll have to order a new, new carb in for the job and uh, do, do some further testing after we get a new carb installed on the machine because if the, if the carb got debris or it's, it's damaged in some way, it's not going to function correctly. So even if your auto chug is working fine, it's still not going to function correctly unless the auto chug is functioning good and the carb is both functioning good. So you have to have one component working correctly and the other one's uh, also working good in order for the whole system to work correctly. So auto chug has to function good back here. The other mechanism, the control arm mechanism, it mates up to the carb, also has to function good. And also the carb also needs to function good as well too in order for the whole system to work correctly right there for that. So if anybody has any comments, questions, whatnot about that, uh, feel free to uh, drop me a message here. This is a uh, quick initial testing video of the uh, HRX Honda 217 lawnmower with the Honda over or Honda um, Auto Choke uh, new generation design right here for that. I'll see you guys and have a nice day.